Alright guys, I am back with another weekly manga review video. No One Piece this week, sadly, but it should return next week with an awesome chapter with Luffy going after Caesar. Possibly Don Quixote's team shows up. Maybe some more of the Smoker vs. Virgo fight, so... Really looking forward to that. I've been enjoying One Piece a lot lately. Um, but we did get some great chapters this week from Naruto and Bleach. Starting with Naruto chapter 609, End. Um, this fight has Naruto and Kakashi fighting Obito. And Kakashi is really weak from using the Sharingan. So he's got no chakra left at all. And he's probably going to die soon, so Kurama tells Naruto to let him take over. And when he does, he gives Kakashi some of his chakra, and when Obito sucks him into that weird dimension place, he doesn't realize he's been powered up. So Naruto goes to attack Obito, and his attack goes through him, which sends his torso into that dimension. And Kakashi punches his body in there, so Obito is starting to cough up blood in the fight with Naruto. I thought this was pretty clever, a good way to actually show them deliver some damage to Obito here. Um, so I did enjoy that. But we also see B, um, Guy, and B is trying to come up with a plan to stop the giant statue thing from turning into the Tentails. So they're going to use one of those giant balls, the Biju Dama, and they're going to blast it with the Nine Tails Chakra and the Eight Tails Chakra and just try to blow the thing up before it has a chance to be released. And this is actually effective. It blows the thing up and they think they're successful and then they realize they just set the Tentails loose. So the last thing we see in this chapter is the Tentails has been released. Now, I really don't know what they're gonna do going forward with this because it's just it's really getting towards the end of the entire series, not just this fight, but it feels like the entire series. I know we still have to have Naruto versus Sasuke because that's how Kishimoto wants to end the manga. But right now, this really does feel like the end. I mean, once they get rid of Obito, Madara, and the Tentails, it's just Sasuke. He's the only one left to stop him. And of course, there's still that whole thing with Sasuke and Orochimaru going to see somebody. Um, so that is something else I'm looking forward to seeing. But right now, the Ten Tails has been released. This is going to have to unite all the other shinobi to stop this monster. Which hopefully means we'll get to see some more fights with guys like Shino, Rock Lee, Shikamaru. I feel like they haven't really gotten enough spotlight in this entire war. Especially Rock Lee. He hasn't done anything really. And that sucks. I mean, I want to see something like the Eight Gates opened and all that stuff. I mean, there's so much potential in this war, and I feel like it's just been kind of lackluster. Not to mention the majority of casualties. Well, the allied shinobi villages have suffered no casualties, actually. I mean, none. It's ridiculous at this point. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping some major events happen here. But, yeah, Tentels has been released, so finally we get to see the Tentels. I'm not a big fan of its character design. It's kind of basic to me, but I don't know. I guess we'll see some more of it next week. Um, so on to Bleach chapter 516, the Squad Zero. And this chapter was pretty awesome um, just because of the ending. I mean, we've all been waiting to see the Squad Zero for a really long time now. And they finally show up here. At first I was thinking, Okay, we're getting down to the last few pages. Are we going to see him, or are we just going to see him step out? And then we're not going to actually see the character designs, but no. Kubo showed us the character designs, and I think they're unique enough. Um, <laughs> one of them has hair like... Uh, what's his name? He's in Yu Yu Hakusho. It's Yu Yu's best friend, the guy with the red hair, and it's got like the pompadour. One of them has that design, the other one has like a huge beard, and it's just, I thought it was interesting. But anyways, the chapter itself, Khan returns, for one thing. Ichigo is talking to Kurotsuchi, and Khan comes in, and he's huge now, he's muscular, um, but I think it was Kurotsuchi hits a button, and it turns him back into a little teddy bear, but it was funny to see Khan show back up. I mean, he's been gone forever, 
and we also find out that Bankai's cannot be rebuilt once they're destroyed. When Ichigo broke his sword against Kenpachi, that was his Shikai, and those can be repaired. But when you're in a Bankai and your sword breaks, you're screwed. So, I guess Ichigo is going to have to find some way to rebuild his sword. It's just another temporary weakness that he's going to overcome. I mean, he's so overpowered now, it's just absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe it. Um, now he's got Quincy powers, and I think it's just way too much for Ichigo. I mean, he beat Aizen with pretty much that one slash. Like, Aizen goes through that huge transformation in the last part of the fight, and he's got, like, the eyeballs and all that stuff popping out, and Ichigo just cuts him once, and the fight was over. It was really lame. I hated that. Uh, so, yeah, he's so overpowered, he could defeat Aizen with one blow. Why doesn't he just turn into that thing again, where he's just, like, the solid form of the sword, I think it was? Why didn't he just turn into that in, like, every fight and win instantly? It just doesn't make any sense to me, but I don't know. So his sword is broken, and he's going to have to find a way to repair it, basically. And then he finds out that the Squad Zero is coming. Kurotsuji says he needs to meet them, and all the captains are lined up, and Ichigo finds out that the Squad Zero consists of five members, all captains, and that together they could defeat everybody in Soul Society. Their power is equal to the 13 divisions combined, just the five of them. So these guys are going to be incredibly strong, cannot wait to see what their powers are, um, what their Bankai's are, whatever it is they're going to use. It's It's got to be awesome stuff here. I mean, they're the strongest characters I think we've seen so far in the entire series. Um, so yeah, very excited for that, and I really enjoyed this week's chapter of Bleach. Um, so yeah, hopefully next week we get a great chapter from One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto. And that's it, really. So that's my review of this week's manga chapters. Hope you guys liked this video. Leave your thoughts on this week's chapters in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Bye.